Hey Stampers! Today I'm going to show you how to create this fun little pinwheel card. It's a fancy fold. So I'm just going to slide off the belly band. And then you can see this is where it gets its name from. It's got like a pinwheel look. And then it just opens up and I turned it into a wedding card. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what you're going to need is you're going to need our Simply Scored board, which is this one here, which has the straight lines. It's great because it's got the ruler on um, the side and then also along the top. Um, and you'll also need the diagonal score plate. Now, a little trick with the diagonal score plate, there is an arrow at the top. You want to make sure that that arrow is pointing up when you put it onto your um, Simply Scored board. Okay, so we've got that there, and I've got a sheet of eight by eight piece of patterned paper, and this is from our Neutrals paper stack. Um, so it's got diagonals on one side and floral pattern on the other, and you want to decide which pattern you want on the outside. So for example, if you're looking at this one, you want to decide which pattern you want here. So, and I want the floral pattern there. So I'm going to have the outside pattern up, line it up in the corner, and then I'm going to score at three inches on all four sides. And I'm sorry, hopefully my arm isn't in the way here. And remember, because this is patterned paper, it's not quite as heavy as cardstock, so you don't want to be too heavy handed. Okay, and then once you've done all four sides, you can see, well, I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but where the two lines intersect, there's a little triangle. We need to cut that out, and we're going to cut that out on all four sides. So I've got one that's already done here. So this one has it cut out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn back to the Simply Score board. We're going to remove the diagonal score plate. We don't need that. And um, this is a different pattern, but I want this side out. So I'm going to flip it over. So initially I had scored this way. So now I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to score at one inch. All right. And from, from the one inch, the top, to the tip of the triangle. One. Two. Four. Okay, so all our scoring is done. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, so the reason why we flipped that over is because we want to break the fibers to make the folding easier. Um, so you can see that this is where the inset bit is. So you want to fold down. All right, so like this. And get my bone folder here. And we're going to do that for each side. We're just folding it away from the groove. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. And you want to do that for all four sides. So you get something that looks like this. And then we're going to flip it over. And we're going to, so the groove is on this side. And we're going to fold away from the groove. Folder, use a bone folder to make it nice and crisp. Okay, so that is the base of the card. Super, super simple. I'm just going to quickly decorate it a little bit. Um, I have used the Silhouettes and Script Stampin' Up! Hostess set from the 2015-2016 catalog. I used the To the Lovely Pear image here and stamped it in a couple different colors of green and I've got a separate video to show you how I create that, created that two-tone look um, and then I added the congrats so I'm just going to add a little bit of Tombow to this, stick it in the middle and I will have all the dimensions and everything in the comment section below the video if you're watching it on YouTube. Alright, okay, so then I to fold it, what you want to do, I like to start at the bottom and you're going to go in a clockwise direction and it's just like folding a box. So you fold it like that and then this flap 
gets tucked under here. And until you do it a couple times, sometimes it, uh, it ends up being a little snug. So once you've got it in there, just give it a little smoosh. All right, technical term there. Okay, and then I have a one inch by 11 inch piece of early espresso. I'm just gonna put this down here to create my belly band, just to use my bone folder to make those score lines. This is a bit long. I'm going to give this a little bit of a trim here. You could probably do one by ten. Okay, and again, I'll use a little bit of Tombow. I love Tombow, my favorite adhesive. Stick that down. And then I've got a very long piece of early espresso twine that's going to get wrapped around the belly band twice. And then just tie a bow. It's very long. All right. Let's see the trim. Okay. And then I've created my flower. I used the Pansy Punch. Um, and then a couple smaller flowers. And again, I'll list those in the comment section so that you have a list of supplies if there's anything you're curious about. I've put a couple dimensionals on the back. And I'm going to stick this over top. Just like that. And there we go. So then this will just slide off. And then you can open it up. So super, super cute. It seems like it's a really technical fold, but really it isn't. It's very simple to do. So I hope you'll give it a try. Thanks for watching.